Hey guys, how are y'all doing? Uh, today I wanted to honor a request on social media that I create some kind of um, IP address locator in Python. So the first thing you want to do is that you want to install a dependency and here it is right here. So you'll just run this. So it's pip install maxmindDB dash geolite2. So just run that and I've already got it installed so it'll say requirement already satisfied. That should download probably in about 30 seconds or so depending on your internet connection. Okay. Once you have that installed, um, I'm just going to hit clear. And now I need to import that dependency so that I can now use it. So I'm going to type from geolite to import geolite to. Okay, and so this will give us access to the database for uh, IP addresses. And I'm simply going to do a, um, a function here, and I'm just going to call it locate IP, and I'm going to take an IP address. Okay, and for now I'm just going to print this IP address just to make sure that I have access to my function here. And then down here I'm going to define my IP address and I'm going to set it equal to something random. So I'm just going to say a random IP address in New York and I'll just grab this. So I'll paste that in and I'll just use it as a string. Okay. And now I need to pass it to my function. So I'll say locate IP, which is the name right here. Inside the prints, just say IP address. And now I should be able to run this. Uh, Python test.py, that's the name of my file. And it is successfully uh, re receiving that IP address. Okay. Okay, so now that I have that, I'll get rid of my little test function here. And now I'm going to break down the GeoLite 2 so that we can use it. So I'm just going to say uh, reader, and I'm just going to say GeoLite2.reader. Okay, and then, um, then the reader is going to receive the IP address itself. Um, then I'm going to set another variable called location, set that equal to my reader.get. So I'll use the get function to um, receive the IP address in there. Okay. Awesome. So now if I just simply print my location here, you can see what it returns here. Ah, and I do have an error here, and it's just because <clears throat> you can see down here it says IP4 or IPv6 address, uh, it's not going to be a valid IP address. So if you get this same error, it's because it's not valid. So I do have a space here. So let's run this again. There we go. So now you can see it has all this data in here. <clears throat> and you can see that this is actually an object. So it has key value pairs. So it's got the city, it's got uh, like Brooklyn, it's got different languages in here, so we can specify that we want it to be in English. So if we said English um, for the country, okay, so we can pretty much just put in a database in here for us to access these so that it looks nice, okay? So I'll just clear out my console because that's a mess. Okay, so I'll just get rid of this print statement. Now I'm going to create a object so that I can store all these things in there and I'm just going to be able to loop through it so that it prints out nicely in my console. So I'm just going to call this data, call it whatever you'd like. Um, and so I'm just going to do this in order of area. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the continent. Make sure it's uh, surrounded in quotation marks. Okay. And I'm simply going to say location. And because we saw the data and it was, in fact, a dictionary, I need to query it like a dictionary. So I need to say what the dictionary was called. 
and I want specifically a key called continent. Okay, and inside of there, there's another key called um, names, and it's actually got separated in different languages. I want it to be in English, so just do en. If it's Spanish, I think it's es. Um, okay, so just to test this out, just to make sure this is working, I'm going to print uh, data at continent. Okay, now you can see that it returns North America. Okay, so that is now stored in continent. Okay, and I'm just going to start typing these out. Um, and I'll just be through this so you don't have to linger and watch all this, okay? Okay, I've typed these all out. So I've got this continent, the country, the state, the city, the postal code, latitude, longitude, and as well as the time zone, okay? And if you have any questions about any of this, uh, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, these are the basics of creating a dictionary. If you do want a tutorial on how to create dictionaries or loop through them, just let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to help out. So we can test a few of these. So I can say country, United States, um, if I want the city, Brooklyn, cool. So that's working really nicely. Now I can uh, print all these out and yes, I can just do print data like this, but if I do that, you can see that it does print everything really nicely, but it's not very pretty. Uh, I do want these to be stacked up on top of one another, and I don't want these commas and these quotation marks, so I'm just simply going to do a for loop to do that for me, okay? And so I'll get rid of this print statement, and now I'm going to say, for each key and its value, okay? So I'm assigning the continents and country and everything over here on the left side to key, and everything over here are gonna be the values. So for key and value inside of the data dictionary, I want you to grab all the items and assign them. And I just simply want you to print, uh, let's just test the keys, okay? So there's all the keys right there, you can see that. Now let's test the values. And yes, it has all the values. Uh, so let's go ahead and just use some simple string interpolation here. So I'll say uh, F for format, and I'm just gonna do the key and I'm going to do a colon, and I'm going to have the value. So let's see how that looks. Cool. So now you can see it has each key and its value, and I do want this to be titleized, so I'm going to say title, so that these are capitalized, so that looks better. Cool. So that's looking really good. I'll zoom up so you can see better. But continent, North America, country, United States, states is New York, city is Brooklyn, postal code, uh, latitude, and longitude. It's even got the time zone, okay? Um, cool, so this is a basic way of doing a IP address locator. So it wasn't super hard. Uh, if you have any questions about it, let me know down in the comments. And if you do want me to make another video after this, um, to maybe see if we can get this longitude and latitude to bring up on the Google Maps or something like that, have it bring up a map in the window or something. That'd be really cool. If you do want that, uh, go ahead and drop a like. And once I get to just 100 likes, I'll go ahead and make another tutorial of how to bring up the map for that, okay? So thank you so much. If you do like these videos, please like and subscribe so that you're notified uh, for my next videos that come out. If you do have any requests, please let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to take a look at it. Thank you so much and happy coding.